Okay, my name's Mr. O'Mara, which I'm guessing you know. We're going to talk to you about how you get started on your Coles essay. Ms. Sulos is here with me, and I think you'd agree that I'm the pretty one. So, this is not one of your questions, because I don't want to give an unfair advantage to one of the questions. This is um, an example question we're doing. Holes is a story without hope. So I'm looking at this, and the first thing I need to think is, what's the key bit of this question? Ms. Solos, what do you reckon are the, is the key phrase or words in this? I think without and hope are the key words. Yeah, I reckon they are too. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have a gut reaction to it. And my gut reaction is, I've got five things that I can write as I can react. One is I can completely... Completely agree. Did I just spell completely wrong? What did I might have. But no, it's, no, it's correct. Okay. Two is I can mostly agree. Three, I'm going to get to. But you'll see three is not as kind of a phony option. And as some of you are probably guessing, in fact, I now mostly disagree. Or I completely disagree. So, I often kind of joke to people, you know what, you've got five options and you can only choose four of them. Now, this, you know, the Babs is a joke. This is sitting on the fence. Oh, it's kind of true and it kind of isn't. That's not an option. Why is that not a good option, Ms. Solis? Well, you're not, you're not able to come up with three distinctive paragraphs if you aren't really that sure. So you've got to be mostly sure or completely sure in order to make a fair point. Yeah, otherwise, you know, why is somebody reading your work? What have you got to say? Oh, I don't know. Fence yeah. sitting's boring. Fence sitting's boring. It makes for bad writing. So, Miss Solos, what's your, what's your response to this? If you were writing this, which one would you pick? I think that a holes is a story without hope. I would choose completely disagree. I thought you would. I thought you would. So in fact, you're going to write three paragraphs and you're going to write the first paragraph, one way in which you disagree. Second paragraph is a different way in which you disagree and your third paragraph is yet a third way in which you disagree. Now, I'm probably going to pick mostly disagree. So I'm in fact going to have a paragraph. You've got a triple D response. I'm probably going to choose what is called a DAD response, where I disagree, and then I show where it's kind of true, and then I show the, where I disagree again. So, for example, I might say, Holes has hope in it. You know, the boys get released from the prison. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a way in which it has hope. But the way that which I agree is that the hope's kind of random. Hope just falls on you from above. So if you're some kid in another prison camp who doesn't have a mystical curse, it's just hope in this little bit of the world. It's not real hope for everyone. Sure. And then I'm going to have another point where I disagree with this again. Mm -hmm. So that's a DOD response. If I was mostly agreeing, now I'm guessing people are seeing the pattern here, Miss Solis, I bet you say it. What is this response? ADA. It's an ADA response. Because I agree, then I disagree, and then I agree. And these are your paragraphs. Your first one is all about how you agree with this. Second one, you're going to show the bits where you don't agree. Third one, you're going to agree. I don't, oh, you know what? I'd have a real trouble writing this one for this. Triple A. A triple A response for this prompt would be extraordinarily difficult. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be picking a question and just go for the key phrases and then go with your gut. Mm -hmm. Or you know, easy for me, harder for some. But which one are you doing? Just pick one of the four. Don't get caught up in it. Don't get, oh, what's the teacher thinking? What's the correct answer? Because there isn't one. Mm -hmm. I mean, that would be hard to do. But a talented student could do it. You could certainly search for evidence for that. However, you might not really be reflecting what the film is really about. Yeah, that's where I think where your gut's important. Mm -hmm. Don't try and read our minds. Go with what your judgment tells you, because that's what you did. What do I feel is true? That's right. Yeah, it is hard to argue something that is just flat out probably not true. You do tend to have, end up distorting the text. Definitely. It's possible, but very, very difficult. Yeah, I reckon go with your gut, but don't agonise. Just pick.
triple A, A D A, D A D, triple D, and we're going to be using this language. So you know, Jeremy, what are you doing? And I'm going to expect you to say, I'm doing an A D A response. And then we can actually put together what are all the agree statements? What are all the disagree statements? And you might, your friend say, oh, I disagree because of this. Oh, I'm going to make that one of my paragraphs. I reckon we're pretty done, don't you? Done. Cool.